How you doing? I'm Matt Walden. Today we're here with Mishimoto and a 2004 Subaru Forester. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to put this snazzy new polished aluminum Mishimoto radiator in your car. Fully TIG welded and 100% metal. You're not finding any plastic, not like the stock stuff here. This not only looks great, but it's going to help your car cool off even better than the stock one. Tools that are required for installation of the Mishimoto radiator in the Subaru Forester XT are flathead screwdriver, 10 millimeter wrench, extension, ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, lineman's pliers, panel tool, coolant funnel, and coolant. Installation time is about an hour and 20 minutes. There's a three out of five on a scale of difficulty. Let's get started here and jack up the front end. Now before starting any work on the vehicle, make sure it's completely cooled off. You don't want to get any burns here. Use your panel tool to remove all the pop clips from the bottom of the splash shield. Once all the clips are out of the lower panel, go ahead and unbolt it using the two 12 millimeter head bolts up front. Reach your hand up in the side of the bumper and open the drain valve to the stock radiator until coolant starts to flow. After the splash shield's off, Go ahead and unplug the fan plugs, one on each side. Remove the lower radiator hose by sliding the clamp off of the connection. Next is to undo the upper radiator mounting points. Next, remove the hose clamp from the radiator. Next, remove the belt guard. Well, now that we have both radiators out, it's easy to see the differences side by side. The Mishimoto, not only is it fully polished, fully TIG welded, it also comes with a lifetime warranty. Anything happens to this radiator, Mishimoto's got your back. Not only that, it's twice as thick, holds almost twice as much water, and the cooling properties are not only gonna be great in the car, it's gonna look great as well. And the next step is to remove the fan shroud from the radiator itself. Moving right along, we're gonna install the fan assembly onto the Mishimoto radiator. Again, the bottom ones clip in, and we're gonna bolt the top ones in. When you're installing the radiator, make sure that the radiator lower pegs fall into the rubber grommets on the lower rad support. Next, we're gonna install the upper radiator hose onto the radiator. If you're working on a 2004 or 2005 Subaru model, you may need to install this aluminum plug into the upper radiator water neck. This is for models without a water neck on the radiator as opposed to ones with, on, with it on the engine. For this particular model, we will be installing this plug.
Wrapping things up, we're gonna reinstall the belt guard. And we're just about to refill it with coolant. We're gonna lower the car down first, and then we'll begin the refill. After you make sure all your hose connections are all tight, hose clamps are on everything, let's go ahead and begin refilling the cooling system. Now on this particular model, you're gonna be refilling it on the reservoir on top of the engine. Always use a 50-50 mix of antifreeze and distilled water. And don't be surprised if it takes considerably more coolant to fill the entire system. After you've filled up the entire radiator and there's no more air coming out of the reservoir, make sure that you have no leaks under the car and then you can go ahead and start it up. In the process of the first start, you should always turn the heat on high to evacuate the air bubbles from the heating system. This is Matt Walden signing off. Enjoy your Mishimoto products.